We have often heard that masturbation is completely normal, but to what extent? How many times a day can you do it without being considered addicted? What if you can't stop? Let's answer these questions and explore why you should stop today with this act that seems normal but hides a trap for your life. Before we begin, I apologize for the exaggerated cover, but I needed to draw your attention to this 21st century issue that weakens and harms our young people and adults, leaving us without willpower. In this video, you will understand what happens to our brain, scientifically and philosophically, and what Stoicism has to teach us about this vice. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's begin. Current medicine clearly states that masturbation is completely normal, not only in humans, but also in dogs and other mammals. However, this view of normal masturbation was not always so. In the past, masturbation was thought to be immoral, especially in men, because unproductive semen production prevented reproduction. In the case of women, it was believed that masturbation could distance them from men by finding pleasure on their own and without assistance. This moral burden was added to the physical burden, stating that masturbation caused diseases, so it was not advisable to practice it at all. But let's return to the present. What do we know about masturbation, especially for men suffering from insomnia? It is known to induce sleep. The French Institute of Health and Medical Research concluded that the male brain deactivates sexual desire after orgasm. The cerebral cortex, responsible for conscious thought, goes to rest once the man reaches climax. This, in addition to nullifying the desire to continue having sexual relations, facilitates sleep. Therefore, many men fall asleep after sexual activity. But what is the problem? What is wrong? Well, hidden in one of its benefits is a trap, and if you frequent this channel, you will see what I'm talking about. Masturbation releases dopamine in your brain. This hormone makes us feel better, providing calm, relief, stress reduction, and a sense of reward. This is caused by dopamine and is so pleasurable that some people become addicted. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders incorporated in 2017 a new disorder called Hypersexuality Disorder, classifying excessive masturbation under Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. This is another vice that leads to mental and familial destruction. In many cases, you won't be able to control yourself and become a slave to yourself, a victim of lack of control, thus seeking relationships with prostitutes, sex with multiple people, and as we saw in a previous video, excessive consumption of pornography. These are ways that a dopamine-saturated brain finds to obtain pleasure. Pay attention. Addiction to masturbation comes from chemicals released in the brain, and as our brain adapts to these releases, it feels the need to continually find the codes that generated the stimulation. Your brain will start asking for more and more dopamine to achieve the same pleasure it had the first time, making you always have to keep looking for how to masturbate again. This reaches an exaggerated point when your brain realizes that the release of dopamine is excessive and begins to block receptors in an attempt to stop you. As a result, the person performs the pleasure act, in this case masturbates but gets nothing, which frustrates them more than they already were. Excessive masturbation to satisfy that hunger for pleasure is exactly what a smoker who never stops, someone who eats chocolate until vomiting, or even an alcoholic does. At this point, you must be wondering what Stoicism has to do with this. The Stoics, Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Epictetus, masters of self-control and wisdom, address the view of pleasure and lust from a unique perspective. From the words of Epictetus to the intimate thoughts of Seneca, they explored the depths of human passions, a legacy that still captivates us. For the Stoics, masturbation was not just a quest for carnal satisfaction, but an opportunity to explore the limits of the body and mind. They saw it as an exercise in self-awareness and a path to true freedom. 
in their philosophy, mastery over worldly passions and pleasures was a conquest that elevated the human spirit. Epictetus asserted that it is not nights of pleasure, but self-control, that distinguishes a good man. In this context, the ability to enjoy pleasure while understanding and containing it makes a difference in someone who has reached a higher level of self-awareness. Instead of being slaves to our desires, we must be their masters. As Seneca reminds us with his philosophical perspective, Stoic reflection on masturbation is not simply about repression, but deep understanding and self-mastery. This translates into the ability to direct our emotions toward a journey of conscious self-examination. It lies not only in fleeting satisfaction, but in comprehending, accepting, and embracing our deepest tendencies. From a Stoic viewpoint, each action bears consequences not just for us, but also for the universe's natural order. When we yield to our most powerful urges, as in the case of unrestrained masturbation, we lose the harmonious bond with nature that the Stoics highly value. We become captives of our desires, straying from true inner tranquility. Compulsive masturbation can ignite an emotional tempest within us, where guilt, shame and dissatisfaction become constant companions. The Stoics teach us to regulate our intense emotions through introspection and self-discipline. By consciously addressing our emotions, we learn to manage them healthily and constructively. However, the Stoics urge us to find inner peace within ourselves. Genuine satisfaction lies in our self-mastery and our ability to find joy in simplicity and virtue. Allow me to share a personal inspirational story. I know someone who used to struggle with compulsive masturbation, seeking temporary refuge and pleasure, but facing an emotional storm after each act. By immersing themselves in stoic teachings and practicing self-control and self-regulation, this person experienced a profound transformation. They learned to confront their desires and emotions consciously, discovering true joy in self-control. They now live a life of inner peace and authenticity, free from the bondage of fleeting desires. True satisfaction arises from living according to our deepest principles and values. When we succumb to fleeting desires, we lose sight of what we truly value in life. Compulsive masturbation can divert us from our noblest purposes and steer us away from the true happiness found in virtue and inner peace. By practicing meditation and mindfulness, we can cultivate the mental serenity needed to resist temptations and face our emotions healthily. This compulsion becomes a barrier to mental serenity, pulling us into regrets and leading us away from the tranquility found in self-control and moderation.